Okay, so it's like pretty much six in the morning. I haven't had any sleep. And I was up like doing homework and stuff. And then I just I, I got a start in my head and it made me come up with like the perfect vlog. I'm sorry I'm sitting here crying like a little bitch. But yeah, hopefully talking will help me stop. But, I never really understood how people could just live life with no expectations until I got to that point. And it used to not make a bit of fucking sense to me. And then I realized, you just finally get to the point where... You have all these dreams and expectations. And it's like your dreams don't die. They're just there. They have nowhere to... Like, they have nowhere to just be killed, but they have nowhere to flourish either. And it's like so ridiculous, so... You try to accept life for what it is. And... It's like... Life as it is, it's just... Uh, crap. And then... I mean, you know, dreams just keep people alive. They give them something to live for. Um, but me personally, I guess the reason I'm doing this blog is because, yeah, I'm not totally cold-hearted. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually, like, the exact opposite when it comes to being around people. But, for me, people used to tell me it seemed bad when I said I have no expectations of life anymore. And to me, it feels like I gave up. And I know why I did it. And it was because I could just never be happy because all my dreams were just bigger than this little small town that I'm in. And I'm like, so different from the people around here that it would just never go anywhere. And then life, I would never be happy. So it was like, one day I told my mom, I think it was like Christmas Day, like two years ago, or it might have been one year ago, I'm not sure. But definitely like Christmas Day, I told my mom, I was like, I really have no expectations anymore. And she was like, don't say that. I said, why not? She said, it makes people feel bad. I'm like, no, mom, that doesn't mean I don't expect things for you all. It means I don't have any expectations for my life. Like, I still have my dreams and my goals. But expecting stuff from other people? No. The way I see it is I'm going to have to make it myself. And everybody's always like, if you're so smart and everything, how do you fail in life? Easily. It's called self-destruction. And it's what a lot of people do in fear of failing. When you don't want to fail, then it's like you do everything in your power to try not to. But if you're that scared you're actually going to end up doing the exact opposite in the process of trying to do good. It's like the constant overachiever. Like, they're so scared not to do good, they do everything in their power to keep doing good. Thing is, their self-destruction is more socially instead of academic. Because the overachiever is not going to understand simple stuff in life. They're going to have book sense and no common sense. I don't, it was, I don't know it anymore. I don't. And that pisses me off really bad because I know there are other people like me. And it's sad. Like, people shouldn't have to lose their expectations in life. I guess the reason I did this why I'm sitting here crying, like, thinking about it for myself. Is to simply say, 
Yeah. These tears, yeah, they're just gonna run. That's how I feel. I'm not gonna sit here and hide how I feel. If I was the type of person to hide, I would not be on YouTube posting this publicly for people to see. My whole point is don't lose your expectations in life because you deserve better. And if you feel like you lose them, don't self destruct, please. It hurts you more to know that you are messing up yourself than to feel like somebody else did. Because, yeah, people don't like to blame themselves, but when you're the one to blame and you're solely to blame, it just really gets you down more and it makes you feel like, okay, <clears throat> it's like you're not going to be able to get ahead because you're not going to let yourself get ahead because of all this fear and everything. You know, you just got to let that go and keep moving. I mean, I guess the whole point of this blog is just don't give up on life, please. Just don't. I mean, cry. It's okay. It's okay for people to cry. It's okay for people to scream, you know, write. I'm sitting up here t actually typing, and that's actually what started me crying, and I decided to do this. But, you know, you got to find a vent. Don't hurt yourself because life is too precious for that. You know, um, I always want better for other people. I just want to say to everybody out there, I really, I really just want you to keep your head up and go through life. Don't self-destruct. Try and make it better. And I'm going to do the same, but... Um, this is just different when people can see that you're not totally heartless and you're not just saying it's like a drum like you don't know what it is because I know what it feels like to honestly just leave all expectations alone I have no expectations for anyone around me really I expect them to do great in their lives but as for them being in mind, I don't really have any expectations aside from the fact I want them to be able to love me for who I am so I can do the same for them. And regardless of what they think, I'll be able to love them for who they are. But yeah. I'm just sorry at this video. Just don't don't lose your expectations. Don't give up on yourself. Don't self-destruct. Don't be afraid of the truth. Be you. And remember, you're only as strong as you are weak. If you're one of the weakest people alive, you are the strongest person too. It is proven. It really is. But yeah, I guess there's really nothing more for me to say because it'd be like highly repetitive. So, as always, with much love, I'm Lady K, Camila, Black Phoenix, signing out. Questions, comments, subscribe, you know where it's at. Peace.